Hi, here's Intergeo TV from Essen. Intergeo 2022 is running and the halls are filled up with people and we have lots of fun and we meet lots of innovations and interesting people and I'm really happy that he has time. He's really busy. And right now he is the president of Geosystems at Hexagon. Here's Thomas Herring. Hi and welcome. Thanks, Denise. <laughs> it's a pleasure being here together with you. Yeah, we met last year in Hanover the last time, right. the before. So right now we are back yes. again. Yes. <laughs> Nice to be back in person. Perfect. So just That's a great event, yes. Yeah, perfect. So let us talk about your motto. And this year's booth, Hexagon is here present at Intergeo. And your motto is, I read, reimagining your world to more, towards an autonomous and sustainable future. Yes. So what do you want to present with that? And what does it exactly mean in the words of Hexagon? What it really means is we have a lot of tradition and there's always a discussion about whether tradition and innovation is contradicting itself or not. For us, it's not, because innovation is our tradition, and we continue with that. We continue to be on that journey, as we describe it, towards autonomous and, and sustainable solutions, which we are on since quite some time. We further develop our solutions. We do what we have done in the past. We do it better, faster, support our customers even better to solve their current and future problems. And then we invent new things. We disrupt things. We transform things, industries, mm -hmm. surveying, and many other industries around that. And that's what you all can experience with our solutions, mm -hmm. based on customer feedback and input, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And you brought a lot of innovations. And this year's special topic, um, Intergy is also highlighting the topic of the digital twins. Right. Um, we also heard uh, Jürgen Dolt this morning talking about the mirror worlds and talking about um, smart digital realities, such as we use in the metaverse, for example. So um, what is the difference between the digital twins and the smart digital realities or the mirror worlds Hexagon is talking about? If we talk about digital reality, we mean it's something which is close to real time, which is a life experience, which is an immersive experience, that you have a nice experience, yeah? that it's really a replication of the real world where you can do simulations yeah. and then change the real world. And you can do all the mistakes in the digital world because then you don't need to do that in the real world. You can learn from that. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is for us. That's a digital reality and not just a one-time digital twin. It's something yeah. which we can work with, create customer insight out of, yeah, and build a lot of application on it. Mm. Many of them we know already, and many we don't know because they will come over the years to come. Mm. And the smart digital reality is also a real-time reality because real-time is a real huge factor in that world. Yes. And real-time means whenever you need the data updated, you should get them updated. Either you do it yourself or you combine it with others, similar as a stakeholders with similar interests, and then you can use the data for multiple disciplines. Yeah. And you can react, then you can use, you can predict and yeah. Really get insights out of that yeah? Yeah. and be proactive and learn from that. Okay, you brought also some really good examples, applications, how smart digital realities empower us to protect the planet. It's a huge and important topic, actually, everybody is involved with. Yes. And there, of course, first of all, we do a lot of things internally, yeah? because if we talk about customer solutions, we should internally reduce our own footprint as well, which we are doing, and we have clear commitments on that, become CO2 neutral. At the same time, it's really about, not only about productivity and sustainability, and both goes hand in hand for us. And sometimes we need to get reminded on that, at least I, and I appreciate that. And sometimes we are so happy that our customers have good experiences, good ideas how to do that. Because for us, sustainability is something which we can't delegate. We need to do it. We have only one plan and we better protect that planet. Mm -hmm. So that's something which we are driving. And of course, we are always willing to listen. If somebody has great ideas, we would like to learn from that and incorporate that into our solutions over time. That's really cool. And it's really about doing good things, talking about that, and of course, letting others doing good things about that as well. Yeah, that's yeah. what we try to do. Yeah, no? since several years, you inspire us with Hexagon projects for shaping the future towards a good and better future, and this is really interesting. Yeah, and we have a nice new website where you can see a lot of um, customer stories about that, a lot of experience on that, which is okay. not yet complete because there's more to come, because we all know a lot of things need to happen in yeah. the years to come. Yeah, or visit just Hexagon here at Intergeo. It's a good recommendation. <laughs> so we see just started. You we have time booth. until Thursday. So enjoy your time here. You have lots of different appointments and meetings. Enjoy, but also discover and connect, reconnect. And it's a pleasure to have you here. It's fascinating. It's such a difference because in a world of technology, really people makes a difference. And Absolutely. that's what we experience here at Intergeo. Thanks a lot, Denise. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Thomas Herring here at Intergeo TV. Thank you. Thanks.